The time has finally come for me to try to fight the Ender Dragon. Welcome back to Exploration and Tactics with Brian, and today is the day I'm finally going to go to the end and fight the Ender Dragon. I've been trying to get everything all prepared, and so I'm going to wear this set of armor with lots of protection and feather falling. We're going to bring the super awesome bow with power 5 and infinity, as well as one arrow so that we can fire it. I've got a sharpness 5 sword that also has some knockback that'll be good against defending against Endermen. I'm going to bring a bunch of water buckets. I have glass bottles, both to collect the uh, dragon's breath that we need to collect, as well as to be able to just kind of scoop it up and get rid of dragon's breath as a threat. I've got plenty of cobblestone blocks that we can use for pillaring up. I've got good food, and I've got very good food. And yeah, I think those are the most things that I plan to have for the trip to the Ender Dragon. I need to head over to the end. And so I'm going to head over to the nether portal and get us to the end portal, and I will meet you guys over there. I'm nervous. Okay, I'm over here at the end portal. I actually had to go back home again because I forgot that I hadn't opened it yet, and I was going to need two more Eyes of Ender to do it. But I have those ready to go. I'm actually going to save and quit and make a backup here, just because I know in the past there have been bugs where you'd enter the end and kind of immediately fall into the void. And hopefully that won't happen, but just in case it does, I think it'll be a good thing to go ahead and save and quit and get ready for a future-packed episode. Wish me luck. Oh, I'm so nervous. The world backup has been made, and so I guess it's time to go in. Once I get inside, step one is going to be to get onto the island, because sometimes you kind of spawn away from it, and I just want to avoid being anywhere where I'm going to fall in the void. And then step two after that is to start trying to take out the healers while avoiding the Endermen using my water buckets when necessary. Um, yeah, I'm not sure that there's anything else I can do to prepare. Gonna go ahead and get golden apples on the bar. I don't think we're necessarily gonna need torches. And yeah, here goes nothing. All right, where am I? Oh crap, the island is way over there. It's gonna be hard to bridge all the way over there. I brought a bunch of ender pearls for a reason. Oh, and there's the dragon somewhere kind of near me maybe. All right, let's do this to try to get closer. And I'm actually even gonna do this to try to get more onto the island. There we go. All right, so I'm on the island somewhere now. And so now I'm gonna try, I see the Ender Dragon over there. Now I'm gonna try to start taking out the healers. The, uh, those things. All right, whatever they're called. Crap, don't look at the, don't look at the Endermen. Oh neat, the uh, portal is like here already, but it doesn't actually have any portal blocks in it or whatever. All right, here's a pretty low healer. Um, so that one I can get at, okay, there's the dragon. A lot of the rest of them I think I'm going to need to get up top in order to get to. This one was pretty low, and so I'm going to try to stack up here. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put down some water. And then try to stack up over here. Hopefully I can fall in the water if things go badly. But then from up here I'll have fewer Endermen to deal with, hopefully. And uh, I'll have a better vantage point for firing arrows, hopefully. Okay, great. Um, where's the dragon? Oh crap, there's the dragon. Wow. Alright, I got lucky that somehow it didn't hit me. Not sure what happened there. Let's see from up here how many of these things... Oh, boy. Oh, Dragon's Breath. Okay. <laughs> I fell in my water, which is good. Um, I got some Dragon's Breath, apparently, which is also good. Uh, I didn't really need... Oh, crap. Here's... Okay, here's a uh, Enderman come and kill me. So let's do this. I don't think they become unaggressive just by going in the water anymore. Let's get water buckets on the bar again. Crap. I'm going to do this. I'm going to put one here. And make an infinite source right here that I can use to refill my water buckets. Uh, I'm going to eat some food. We're not in terrible danger right now, so steak should be enough. And I'm going to try to... Crap. Defeat... Crap, 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 crap. Whoa. <laughs> All right. Uh, we still have an Enderman going after me, I think. There's a bunch of Dragon's Breath over there. But I've already got one. And so I'm not going to worry about that too much. Can I find the Enderman? Here he is. All right. Let's hit him with the Sharpness Sword. Try to get rid of him. Alright, where'd you go, crazy Enderman? There you are. How many hits does it take? I got sharpness five. Come on! Why do you have so many hit points? Alright, great. He's dead. 
The dragon! Okay, crap, 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 crap. Crap. Ah, uh, did my pearl... I'm not sure what happened there. I really thought I threw a pearl that should have landed on the island. Uh, but whatever. Um, I'm not sure if this is one that... Oops. Uh, out of your water, Brian. All right. If this is one where I've broken the ender crystal... Ah, oh, darn it. Okay. All right, dragon. I need to keep more of an eye out for the dragon, it seems. If you shoot the dragon when the dragon is rushing you, does the dragon actually break off its attack now? I don't know if that has changed or not. Uh, it's also possible that the dragon will go... I just want to see if he's going to come at me. Okay, he's coming at me, kind of. Not really. There's also a time where the dragon... Oh, crap. I see. He just threw his dragon's breath attack at me, I guess. Okay, so we can, like, fire... I didn't realize he could, like, fire the dragon's breath attack, for, like, from range. So now I know that. There's a low pillar over here. Let's go for this one for a change. Not sure where the dragon is right now. There he is. It does seem like the dragon does break off his attack a little bit. Uh, oh, crap. Crap. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. Uh, I want a better water bucket over here. Let's do this. And this. Ah, oh, darn it. <laughs> I'm trying to make an infinite source, and I'm not doing very well because I'm under a lot of pressure. Okay. Um, let's do it over here. On that side, on that side. I just don't want to run out of water buckets at any point. Okay. So, I have an infinite water source over here. It can help break my fall. Let's eat some food again to make sure we're always kind of healing up. This is one of the towers that I need to break. And so I think I can go in here, and then I can just shoot it. And if it knocks me off, that's fine, because I'm going to fall in the water. Okay, great. Okay, and the dragon... Okay, the dragon is distracted. He's doing his thing where he just, like, hops around like an idiot uh, in front of the portal. So let's do this again. Ah, darn it. Okay. I understand why this is not working now. It's because of water physics. All right, that will work. Let's get another infinite water source going. Refill my buckets. I know I have more buckets in my inventory, but I'm not very good at opening my inventory and working with them quickly. Okay. I'm gonna try to get up on a pillar again. Let's take a quick look. Can I see the dragon? I cannot. I hear the dragon though. Crap. Okay. Let's try this again. Oh, boy. Okay, good. Managed to fall in the water. I've got Feather Falling 4 too, so I think that fall would not have killed me regardless. And now, all right, I've taken out a few of the pillars. I definitely need to take out more. I could use I could use Ender Pearls actually, uh, if I wanted to to try to. Um, okay, that one got. I couldn't remember if there's one up here. Okay, there is. Great. And I can see that there's one up here definitely. Kind of ignoring the dragon. Okay, there's the dragon. Okay. There's definitely one on both of these. This one and the one to the left of it. So let's see if I can. Okay, got that one. This one's much higher. That one went just over, I think. There we go, got that one. Okay, let's watch the dragon now for a bit. And see if he's getting healed from anywhere. And try not to look at any Endermen. So far this is going good. Uh, got plenty of durability in my bow. Don't need to worry about running out of arrows. Doesn't seem like any of them on that side of the island are healing the dragon. Okay, here comes one of those things. Okay, got it. And now at this point, I think I actually do want to start scooping it up with my glass bottles. Just to make it less likely that I'm gonna run into that goop. That hurts. Okay, dragon is... Oh crap, I looked in Enderman. Alright, let's deal with that. Oh crap, there's a dragon! Ah! Okay, I don't need this right now, but I am gonna need to fight off an Enderman. So let's get in the water for a moment and see where the angry Enderman is. Oh, maybe he's not actually angry, or maybe the Ender Dragon hit him and that unaggroed him. Okay, I'm gonna do this. It makes it less like. Okay, there we go. There's that thing. That might be the last of the Ender Crystals. Let's start firing at the Dragon now. Oh, crap! Ah, I did not see the projectile coming towards me, assuming that you can see it. I'm going to go ahead and eat a golden apple. Um, crap. Okay, just because things seem to be going pretty well. 
Okay, and the Ender Dragon is making all kinds of noise, because that's the kind of guy he is. I wonder... I'm going to try to climb up on top of the pillar again. Let's do it right here. It sounds like he's flapping at the center, and so I should have some time to get up here. Crap. Darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Okay, that time my Ender Pearl actually worked, so I'm at least happy about that. Okay, so maybe getting up on a pillar is not going to work very well. Let me just get up... High enough that Endermen are unlikely to bother me. Okay, he is at the center right now. I think he does not take damage from arrows when he's flapping at the center. Okay, and he... yeah. Even if I shoot at him, he does not break off his attack. He just keeps coming at me. And I thought I heard an angry Enderman. But again, maybe it was the Enderman getting angry at the Ender Dragon as opposed to me. Okay, so we'll try this. Where's the dragon? There's the dragon. Yes, the Endermen are going after the dragon. I can see them kind of like running around and following him on the island. And I don't think he's healing anymore. And like I said, I think he's immune to arrows when he's in the center like that. There he is. Okay. Crap. Uh, alright. Food is still going okay. Alright, where's the dragon? Crap, I didn't look at an Enderman, right? I guess I'll find out in a moment. Hey, there's the dragon. It's really hard to see him. I do wish the end sky was a little less black. Alright, I think I can hit him with the sword. Right now. Oh crap. Uh, let's eat some food. Alright, let's not look at an enderman. Okay. I'm gonna wait until he gets off of the... There we go. Nice! Okay. That dealt some damage. Alright, this is actually going reasonably well. Okay, now he's over there. I really want to see if I can sneak up behind him and hit him with a sharpness sword. Yes! Alright, that's probably good enough. Ouch! Okay, something hit me. Uh, he might have ended up firing a thingy at me, I'm not sure. Or maybe he can do melee damage? I don't know. I'm gonna get water buckets on the bar, because I seem to have misplaced mine. <laughs> I seem to have misplaced my buckets. It's a good thing to worry about in the end, right? Ah, darn it. So much knockback he has. I mean, I guess he or she is a huge dragon with a lot of mass. And so I guess the knockback kind of makes sense. Alright, there's a hit. Okay, he apparently hit fired. I'm really not seeing the projectiles as they come towards me, and I'm not sure why. I hear them explode near me. The good news is, with the protection armor that I have, it doesn't seem like the the um, breath does very much damage. Alright, let's do some more melee damage. I might be able to kill him right here. Okay, maybe not. All right. So far, so good. This is actually <laughs> going much better than expected. I've never killed the dragon in single player before without dying. So this could be a nice change of pace. And I think it's going to happen. Ha ha! Entered end. Killed dragon. Oh, baby! Alright, so the armor was good. I actually didn't have that many problems with Endermen. I had a few. Oops, here's another one. Okay. Uh, I don't mind now that I've killed the dragon, just fighting you melee. How come that only... T uh, he may have already taken damage from whatever. Okay, I've got 51 levels. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Achievement get the end. And I don't think the end poem has changed, and it's long, and it's boring, and so I'm just going to hit escape uh, and go back to my spawn point. It's nighttime. That is fine. It looks like there's... Why are these here? Oh, this must be like the spawn point of the world, right? Zero, zero. And some of the experience balls uh, fell through the end portal and then landed back at zero, zero, which is the world spawn, because I made exactly zero, zero the spawn point for this world. And so those were uh, more 
what do you call that came through there. All right, so we killed the dragon, and I managed to get some dragon's breath. And I'm going to leave it nighttime because I don't want to reset it today because I'm trying to get more thunderstorms so we can eventually get some uh, creeper heads. Uh, mob heads, what is it I'm trying to say? Hopefully you guys understand what I'm trying to say. We're in a quest to get all of the items in the game. And one of the items I need to get involves electrified creepers. Okay, so I have awkward potions. I need to turn this into a lingering potion of something. Let's make like a lingering speed potion or something. Um, or actually, let's make a lingering strength potion, I suppose. So if I do this, this will brew up a strength potion. And then I think I need to add gunpowder to it to make it a splash potion. And then I can add the dragon's breath to it to make it a lingering potion. And then I can use the lingering potion to craft arrows, to craft the tipped arrows. And then that'll be another item that we need that we could only get after going to the end. And I heard that go blub, blub, blub. And let's see, are there other things I need to do? I only managed, I only needed to use four ender pearls to save myself during that fight too. The good armor is definitely really good. And I wonder if the fact that in 1.9.2, diamond armor now has the armor toughness. I felt like the dragon used to hit really hard, but I imagine that all the bits of armor toughness may have cut the dragon's ability to deal damage, like cut it in half or so. So I think I add Dragon's Breath now as a potion ingredient. And this will turn these into lingering potions of strength. And then I can craft some strength arrows. And then that will be tipped arrows. And that'll be another of the items that we're trying to collect. I'm still kind of just running on the high. Oh, lingering potion also was a new type of thing. You'll recall that trying to get one of every item, uh, but if there's more than 16 of a particular type of item, any version of it counts as one. And so any lingering potion checks off lingering potions. Any tipped arrow will check off tipped arrows. And so we're up to 461 items. And there aren't any guys that I really need to fight at night. And so instead, let's go upstairs and just take a look and see if there's some more things that I want to craft. I'm feeling good about this. Obviously, we have to go back to the end because there's a lot more things to get in the end now, such as chorus fruit, popped chorus fruit. We just got a tipped arrow. Oh, I never made spectral arrows. You can just make those out of glowstone. And I guess I never had the splash potion in my inventory, and so I've never made a splash potion. Oops. And elytra wings and the dragon head is somewhere too, right? Here's all the mob heads that we're going to need the electrified creepers for. And the dragon head. Don't remember where it is. Apparently I don't have any nether bricks either. Iron doors. Yeah, there's a lot of things that I still haven't crafted that would be easy to get. A milk bucket. So, yes. I'm going to review a number of these things that we could craft right now. And as kind of our victory celebration for killing the dragon, we're going to craft up a few more items. I should also use my 58 experience levels to enchant some random things that might be useful. Although at this point, I'm sitting pretty well in terms of equipment. We're in a quest for every item, and I've been kind of intentionally saving some of them as the easier items. But I figured if I'm going to make a splash potion, it might as well be instant health to splash potions. But now let's go ahead and make some of the easy items that I've kind of put off. So iron doors are an item that we have never had before. I have also never made a tripwire hook. And so let's go ahead and make one of those. And if I've never made a tripwire hook, I've probably never made a trap chest either. So let's actually go ahead and see if that is the case. Is it to the side? Yes, trap chest. All right, great. Here is a splash potion that we've never had in our inventory before. So we can check off splash potion. And then I got some glowstone out because if I break these, I should be able to get some glowstone dust. And I can craft spectral arrows, I think, are like this. Yes, spectral arrows, two at a time. OK, great, spectral arrows. And just like that, our score is up to 466. Pretty cool. Oh, yeah, and milk bucket. I have all these buckets in my inventory. And I have a whole collection of cows over here. I had thinned the herd uh, relatively recently, but let's get a milk bucket. Ah, awesome. 467. I 
I'm a little more settled down now after the Ender Dragon fight, but I really don't have any sense of how much time passed, so let me go check on the time for this episode and see where we're at. It looks like we're close to 20 minutes in already, and so I don't necessarily need to do a whole lot else in this episode. However, there is one thing I definitely do want to do, and that is to go back and get the Dragon Egg, because I forgot completely about the Dragon Egg, and I figure if I don't get it, I'm going to get so many comments on the video that's like, Brian, you forgot the Dragon Egg! And so I think it's still in the same spot where it just kind of like sits on top of the portal. But I guess we'll go find out. I'm going to continue to have Ender Pearls on the bar. We can also actually like build a bridge now from the end whatever to uh, from the place that it spawns you in the end. Like as a bridge like over to the main island. I think I ought to be able to safe, be safe now. And yeah, I'll probably actually start lighting some things up. In any case, let me go back through the nether, back over to the end portal in the overworld, and I'll meet you guys over there. It occurs to me as I'm walking in here, I don't remember at the beginning of the episode, I don't know, I'm so scatterbrained today that I might have said it, but you may have noticed that I have unequipped the shield from my shield slot and put the bow over here instead, and that was just because I don't think there's any value to having a shield when you're going to fight the Ender Dragon, because there isn't really anything you can block, as far as I know, and just to free up another, you know, hot slot, hot bar slot on my inventory, I just moved the bow into my offhand, and so... That's why, that's why it's in that configuration, basically to save myself a hotbar slot and so that I could fire the bow no matter what else I had in my hand. But let's go back here. Yeah, we should be safe right now. As long as I don't look at an Enderman like right here. I've got plenty of blocks on my bar. And so I ought to be able to just start building over to the main island. And so I'm not gonna drop the shift key. And if I do, I'm going to be ready to switch to an Ender Pearl, which is just the next slot over that I would need to scroll to. And throw an Ender Pearl onto the island. Well, let's go ahead and make a bridge and see if we can go retrieve the Dragon Egg. I'm assuming, I'm actually not entirely certain, I'm assuming that the Dragon Egg still spawns on top of the portal. But I didn't even notice it. I wasn't even thinking about it. I was so happy to have beaten the dragon. All right, that'll work. And... All right, I'm just going to kind of carve a... Oh! Endstone! <laughs> I was thinking all the other blocks that we need to get. We need to go to the end city. Forgot all about endstone. All right, well, that's another item. Congratulations to me. Look at all these items. 468 with the presumed... Oh, I still have all my levels. I'm going to be kind of wasting levels if I pick up more experience here, but oh well. Uh, I think... It's been a while since I've played with this at all. I think basically if I punch it, it's going to go appear somewhere else. Oh, did it not? Did it just fall through? It looked like it just turned into an item entity and fell through. No, it did. It still does do this teleporty thing. And so I think then what you need to do is you need to put a torch here and then break this block and it falls and it turns into an entity. There we go. Got the dragon egg. Okay, great. Let's try to leave the other experience around so I can come back for it later if I want to do some more enchanting. But with that, we got endstone, we got the dragon egg, and actually, can you craft endstone bricks like this? Yes! Endstone bricks brings us up to an even 470. All right, I think that's probably a good place to call it an episode for today. It was a very successful episode. Um, yeah, apart from the fact that the my end spawn was kind of away from the island, I'm really glad I brought the ender pearls so that I could get over there without having to build a bridge and possibly get knocked off before I even got onto the island. Um, yeah, I feel like that actually went really well. I'm not sure how much of it is attributable to the armor, how much of it is just the fact that the dragon fight has been kind of redone and rewritten, and so the dragon has different behaviors, and the end crystals have different behaviors. Um, but I've never had that much success fighting the dragon before in the end. In any case, I'm glad that I did today. I hope, as always, that you guys are having a great day, and I will see you again soon for more Minecraft exploration and tactics with Brian. We're on a quest for every item in Minecraft, and we're going to be like 20 episodes in and getting pretty close to the end. Hope you guys are having a great day. Bye-bye.